on Windows, if you would copy and paste or any other actions, and then if you are using another software and then press Control Z to undo, but you accidentally press it while your file explorer is active instead of the intended software, then you could accidentally delete files from your file explorer by pressing Control plus Z and might never realize until it's too late. So if you would right click on an empty space on your file explorer, Explorer have the option to redo but it would be useless if you have accidentally undone a while ago. That is why it's much safer to completely disable Control plus Z that is undo in File Explorer. To do so click on start and type registry editor and then select registry editor to open it. Find your H key underscore current underscore user and then expand it. Find software and expand it expand microsoft scroll down to windows expand windows expand current version scroll down to explorer expand explorer select advanced Right click on it, hover your cursor over new and then select D word value. Here it's very important to rename it. So right click on new value and select rename and make sure to rename it exactly as shown. That is max undo items with no space and M, U and I should be capitals. By default its value is set to zero. If it is not, double click on it and make sure value data is set to zero. Basically this D word value is the number of maximum undos that file explorer can perform so when you set it to zero it means it can't perform any undos if you would have set it to one then it could do just one undo now you can close registry editor to make the changes to take effect you will need to sign out from your user account after logging back with the same username try to test whether undo doesn't work anymore for example you can copy some file and then try to use Control Z to undo and you would see that it won't work. In this way we have successfully disabled Control plus Z for this user on Windows. There are many other Windows 11 features that I have disabled so to learn how to disable many other Windows 11 features watch my other videos on the screen and links in the description. And if this video helped you please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel.